If you've been following my blog, you'll know that I've been working two jobs since I finished school last April. My daytime job is with an environmental organization. And then I have this job. I get to learn about student finances and talk about them on the web. Today, I'm going to talk about how one can lead to the other. It's a wind turbine, okay? Alright, this is a wind turbine. And this is a wind farm. I'm at the Melanchthon Eco Power Centre, which is near Shelburne, Ontario, just an hour and a half north of Toronto. Melanchthon has 133 turbines, which produces enough energy for 70,000 homes. Actually, the environmental organization I work for is planning on building a smaller scale wind park in the coming years. The project will be a community co-op, which means that the money generated stays within the community, the province, and essentially Canada. In fact, community-owned power is becoming increasingly popular in Canada and just may be the perfect business opportunity for a young entrepreneur. So I came up here to do my story on wind power and as you can tell, there's no wind and there's no power. But I did run into someone who gave me some footage of what they should look like. Renewable energy has the potential to create many employment opportunities for Canadians. From urban planners, to engineers, to construction workers, to maintenance staff. The more renewable energy projects, the more jobs, and the more we save the environment around us. Wind power displaces traditional sources of energy production, nuclear, gas, and coal power. This helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions, which contributes to climate change. Before I left Shelburne, I drove around to have one last look at the turbines, when I found this. One was actually moving. My mission was accomplished.